welcome back! My name is Kim, aka Geekerella, and we're going to be going through all of the September comics in this video. There is a lot to go through, like a month of comics to go through, so let's get freaking started and just jump into this because oh my god, oh my god. The first book I have today is Action Comics issue number 987. So this is the Oz Effect part one. Was anyone else really disappointed when they revealed who Oz was? I mean, I was expecting someone really amazing and intense. Jorel, really? Jorel? Like, out of anyone they could have chosen, they've always got to bring back a dead parent. Like, always. It's just, it's just annoying. In Supergirl, we had Zorel coming back as like a cyborg Superman. It's been done to death. I don't actually have the second issue yet. DC is actually sending me the second issue, so 988 of Action Comics, because guess what? I am going to be reviewing either or all Action Comics, Superman, and current Batgirl series at the moment, all on the DC Fans channel. So I do have the Oz Effect Part 1, and I will be receiving Part 2 very soon. I'll have to see if Oz is jor or if it's changed in Part 2, I'm not sure, because I haven't read it yet. If it does stay with jor then I'm, I'm not happy. I'm, I'm not happy at all. Is anyone else happy? Please tell me in the comments below. Next up we have Superman issue number 30. I really loved this Sinestro parallax arc. It was like so random but kind of cool. Like you had Sinestro versus parallax but he was in Superman's body so you have like villain fighting a villain but with Superman. It just it was so weird and kind of awesome at the same time. So I did actually really enjoy this arc and then of course Sinestro at the end just running away with his tail between his legs. So it was a really fun filler arc. I really did enjoy it. And we also have Superman issue number 31 which is actually more about Lois Lane trying to expose Deathstroke and we got to see a little bit of Deathstroke's humanity and such a cliffhanger on the end. I'm just waiting for the next issue. I'm gonna die if I don't read it right now. So next issue I have is Super Sons number eight. This is just the best series ever. It's so much fun. It is so cute. And the dynamic between John and Damien right now is just, they're working together and you can just see it's just turning them in. You can see like the Batman, Superman friendship coming in and it's just so much fun. And Thomas C is such a great writer. He kind of abandoned Superman. Like, where did you go, man? But I mean, he's focusing all of his efforts into Super Sons, which I'm very grateful for. So I highly recommend this series. If you're a Batman fan, if you're a Superman fan, this is something you should be trying because it's just so cute. Next issue I have is New Superman number 15. And people do not give this series enough credit that it deserves because it's actually really good. You think it's just some weird copycat, like a Chinese copycat of Superman. It's not. There's just so many different elements in this series that it's just so much fun to read and they do remind you a lot that it is part of the DC universe because we've had Superman, we've had Lex Luthor, we currently have the Suicide Squad all guests appearing in this comic so it is all part of the same thing. Now we're moving into our event series that is Riot Dark Knight's Metal so I have issue number two of me the Metal series and I have to say, it's been so fantastic so far. I have really, really, really enjoyed this event series. You can definitely tell it's not something that they've just kind of blurted out. It's something that's been pre-thought, all rooted down into different layers of the Batman universe. And it's just amazing. It's just so good. All the payback that Scott Snyder has been delving into the, you know, comics over the years has definitely paid off. So this is issue number two. And I also picked up Dark Knight's Batman, The Murder Machine. And how cool is this cover? I don't know if you can see this, but it's like, you know, like, what do you call it? I I'm not sure. I'm really excited to get stuck into this one. I haven't read this one yet. Also, I think the Batman The Red Death was released like last week or maybe the week before and it didn't arrive at my comic book store so I actually have to wait for that to arrive. I think it's going to come in another two weeks so I've got to wait. I'm so devo that it is not here yet because I want to read that before I read this one so I might have to wait a little bit but I will be getting it as soon as it comes out so this is in its place. Now next one I have is I told you that I am so bummed that I didn't like the main Batman series so I've been waiting to jump on Detective Comics when it's the, a really good time to jump on Detective Comics. So they're just starting a new arc, which I'm very super keen for. So this is Detective Comics 965, and this is also involving Mr. Oz. So everything's being connected through Action Comics and Detective Comics and all the characters that are being introduced now. Next issue I have is Nightwing, The New Order, number two. So this is a very short series that DC are doing, where it's set in some weird alternate future that Nightwing kind of betrayed all of the superhero metahumans 
and they're now living in a world without metahumans and all this like police forces taken over the world so this is kind of a little bit further from that future and it revolves around Nightwing's son and how he is dealing with all of these changes and everything like that. It's actually been a really cool series so far. I've enjoyed it. You haven't really seen any of the main characters except for like Alfred. Why is Alfred still alive? I feel like he was like 80 when Batman was around and now it's like Nightwing's son. So he would be like 120 or something. But I don't know, who knows about timelines and stuff in alternate futures. Next issues we have are Wonder Woman and I know everyone's been shitting their pants about the changes between Greg Rucker and Shia Fontana because obviously Greg Rucker is just, his Wonder Woman series was just so in depth. There was so like intense storylines that really made you think about things at the end of the day and obviously Fontana's is more like an after school special. Very basic storylines, still very fun. Like I find them still interesting but you know, it's not something that you will really think about again during the day. Issue number 29 and issue number 30 of Wonder Woman. And this is the last one that Fontana did. So the next issue is Wonder Woman 31, which is by the new writer Robinson. So I haven't read this one. I read the last one that Fontana did. It will be interesting to see how this new writer takes Wonder Woman forward and what kind of storylines are gonna happen. And we are nearing the end of the DC part. The last one I have is Bombshells United issue number one. I have not read this one yet, but I do have the first volume of Bombshells. So we are moving into Marvel now. And as you know, Marvel pretty much is either Deadpool, Spider-Man, or Venom. <laughs> so let's see what we have in uh, my pile. So first up, we have Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe, issue number five. And this is the last issue in this series, which I'm very excited about finishing this series and seeing what happens in the finale. We also now have some Venomverse stuff because it's just been released like every week. So it's been very hard to keep up to date with that. So first one I have is Venomverse War Stories, issue number one, which I have read. And um, it was actually really cool to see all the different characters is like how they relate in terms of like getting their venom sy symbiote and how they're using it in their like normal lives and stuff so I did enjoy this one and I actually have picked up all of the venom verse so far so I have issue number one I have not read this one yet but I will very soon I have issue number two I haven't read yet I have issue number three and we're up to issue number four so that is it for Marvel Pretty pathetic, I know. So let's move into some of our independent comics. First up, we have Image Comics, and the first book I have is Curse Words. This is issue number eight, about a wizard and magic, and it's just so epic and edgy and colorful. It's a lot of fun, and it's just weird as well. It's great, it's so good. Next issue I have is Murder Crush, number six we are on. This has been a, such a good series. I picked up the first issue not expecting much and then it just had me hooked the whole way through. So it's based around this main character Domino who is a motocross rider but there's so much more happening. There's like you know all these like secret societies, drugs that she has to take to keep normal and it makes her go faster and it's actually like a really dangerous kind of drug that's being sold on the black market. There's just a lot of elements happening and it's it's getting very good at the moment. Very interesting to know a bit more about her backstory because she's actually adopted. Last book we have in the image comic section is Elsewhere, issue number two. So this is about Amelia Earhart, the pilot that went missing. This comic revolves around where she went and what happened. The first issue is pretty interesting and I'm kind of excited to get into the second issue and find out where they take the series because it's such it's a very weird concept, but it's it's an interesting one. So I wanna I wanna keep on top of it. We are gonna move now into Xenoscope. So we have the Courier issue number five. This is basically Fallout. This is what this series is, pretty much. The main character is this badass chick who's a courier. This is the final issue in this series, which I'm really bummed about. I would have loved to see much more in this world. The last issue in my Xenoscope bunch is Spirit Hunters, number 10. I've been following this series for a while. I'm sure you guys would have heard me talk about it, saying it's like basically a supernatural version of Criminal Minds. Each issue is about a different ghost, and it's obviously a horror comic. The 12th issue will be the last one, so. It's been a really good run so far and I highly recommend you pick it up if you like that kind of stuff. Next, we're gonna move into Boom Studios. I I'm so glad that I found this publisher because I will always pick up their number ones. They're just always so freaking good. We have the Unsound, issue number four. It's such a creepy comic and I mean, look, the art is horrendous, but I've kind of gotten used to it. It just kind of adds to that creepy vibe to the story because the art is just so like weird and 
distorted and bleh. It's a good series. It's about a nurse that goes into a psychiatric hospital that she's working at and things just turn really crazy. Next book we have is Misfit City issue number five. This again has been such a good series. I would say it's like a female version of Stand By Me, an adventure comic, and it's all female based. I'm trying to go through these quite fast now. I'm getting a bit tired and my voice is going so uh. Next issue we have is Sisters of Sorrow issue number three. I have been going on about this comic because it is basically a revenge group that dress up as nuns and go and kill people. So I have had my reservations. They've killed someone it was like a big thing they killed someone like oh my god it's the first time that they've done it obviously the police are investigating them at the moment and they kind of hit it hit it so because they were afraid that they would just they'll go straight to jail and no one will listen to their side of the story so what they do now is decide well we've killed one person let's just continue killing people so they've got like this whole list of people that they want to kill and it's just like natural to them For them to just suddenly go you know what let's just start killing people just seems a little bit far-fetched next issue i have is the high five fight club number two this has been such a cute series and has such a random premise so basically the main female character of this series works in a record store like a music store and all the other girls that work there and the manager have this secret that, that they won't tell her about she feels like they're hiding something from her then and it is revealed to her that they're all part of this underground fight club and they go fight like crime and it's just it's so random but weird and amazing at the same time so the last book I have from Boom Studios is Lazaretto issue number one. This looks pretty cool. So I decided to pick this one up. Two more to go. Yes, let's get through them. Skin and Earth issue number three is set in, in this post-apocalyptic world. It's been pretty cool so far. I've enjoyed like the post-apocalyptic setting as I keep saying all the time that it's my favorite freaking context. I feel it wasn't as great as the two previous ones. Just kind of been with this guy and broken up with this guy because he, you know, kind of like broke her heart. And then in this one, she just meets this random girl who's like literally in her bedroom when she wakes up and then she just disappears. Later on, she finds her in the market and the girl says to her, you know, you shouldn't trust people. And then later on, this main character ends up sleeping with her and just living with her in her room. And I'm just like, um, and you've just invited her in. She was also like in your house before you even knew her and just like watching you sleep and you feel like that's the best course of action to invite her into your home. And the last comic that I have for this haul is Lark's Killer issue number two. It's about a dragon and these adventurers have gone into this treasure cove and found this dragon with no treasure and the dragon wants to tell them a story about this girl that gets teleported to this alternate universe full of like swords, magic and knights and stuff and that's basically what the comic's about, this dragon telling a story. So it's kind of weird but the first issue I actually enjoyed so I wanted to pick up the second issue and find out what the hell is going on in this comic. So those were all the comics for September. I'm dead. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the comics that I picked up. Let me know in the comments below what you guys picked up. Did you guys enjoy that Mr. Oz reveal? What are you feeling about the Dark Knight's Metal series? Are you liking the Venomverse? Let me know everything in the comments below. If you want to follow me on any social media, I have Twitter, I have Instagram, I have Goodreads. All of those links are in the description below, so follow me on everything. As always guys, thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you very, very soon. Goodbye.